Alright, so when you open up the hood and you're getting this P0380 code, um, back here on the driver's side of the engine, behind the uh, turbo cooler line, you'll see that black box right there. Uh, that is the box that houses the relay, <clears throat> the relay for the, uh, oh, what the hell is it, the um, glow plug and also the air intake heater. Um, we're going to be working just with the glow plug, but we do have to work on both of them because both relays are in there. So, so take that cover off. And then the relays are in there. There's two bolts holding that whole thing on and then the wiring harness. There's two bolts down there, or two nuts. You take those off and the wiring harness and then you can just uh, take this whole thing out of there. So, once that's out, we could start some testing to verify if it's this unit that's bad, if it's the wiring that's bad, or if it's the computer that's bad. So we'll start by testing these wires coming in. Like this little plug, that's the uh, command circuit for the for the relays. There's uh you gotta look at the wires on the back side. You find the yellow wire with the pink wire and the yellow stripe, which are side by side. So it, it'll be the top two wires in there. So you have to get make some kind of a little uh, tester lead that will plug into that thing. And then you can test to see if voltage comes out of that when you turn the key on. Because uh, from what I understand and from what happens on this truck is when you turn the key on, you'll get 12 volts coming through that for about 10 seconds and then it'll shut off and what that is is it's turning the glow plugs on for 10 seconds and shutting off. If you don't have voltage then you probably have a wiring issue and we'll show you how to test for that. Alright so the first test I'm going to do is to verify that the ground is good on the signal circuit which is the uh, pink wire with a yellow stripe on it. It's right next to the solid yellow wire, which is the actual signal circuit for the glow plugs. Uh, the pink wire with the yellow stripe. So I just put a little piece of wire in there, um, clipped it to my test lead, to my meter, and then uh, I just ground this thing out. And there's a uh, it's a good ground. As you can see, every time I take it on and off. So that tells me that I've got a good ground on that one. Uh, you can run the same test if you're having issues with your uh, with your intake heater circuit, but uh, that that tells me that the ground on that glow plug circuit is good. So now we test the the, um, the signal circuit, which is a wire that comes directly from the computer and sends out 12 volts to this glow plug relay uh, for 10 seconds. So the signal circuit, I have plugged the uh, test lead into the solid yellow wire. That wire should be putting out 12 volts when I turn the key on. Uh, the other lead I hooked to the ground, which I know the colors don't match up, but for testing purposes, it'll work. All right, we'll turn the key on. And we get 12 volts coming in that signal circuit, which means the computer is putting out 12 volt signal, telling the glow plugs to turn on. So that tells me that the wiring coming to the signal circuit in that connector is good for the glow plugs. Uh, the next thing that we test is there's two smaller wires that hook to the uh, terminal screws also. They look the same from the top. They both have, they're both pink and they've got like this blue jacket on them, but 
the wire that they connect to on the bottom, one of them is blue. The other one is like a tan color. Yeah, you kind of see that in there. So one's blue, one's tan. The blue one is the one that works the glow plugs. So it's important that this gets put on the glow plug relay. Otherwise, it's going to be receiving, the computer is going to be getting signals from the from the heater circuit for the glow plugs and then everything's all screwed up. So it's important that this wire gets hooked back on to the glow plug relay. Um, so I'll show you how to test that one. So I downloaded this nifty wire schematic off of the old internet and uh, this shows the information for the glow plug relay right there and then it shows the yellow wire as the signal wire going through the relay um, the pink yellow as the ground um, and then this wire over here is the uh, blue wire it says there's a fusible link on it and that connects to the terminal um, you know on the that comes off the relay uh, that's the wire that we're going to test next, but I never did find the fusible link. I did find a link But it doesn't look like it's a fusible link, but anyhow This uh, on the schematic That connector right there uh, where it shows 52 C1 glow plug signal that is the computer connection and uh, C1, if you see in that little box right there, C1 is the blue connector, C2 is the white connector. There's two connectors that plug into the computer. So we're going to be looking at the blue connector, C1, and wire number 52, and the wires are labeled on the back side when you take the connector out of the computer. The wire numbers are on the back side of the connector, so you can uh, tell which is which. As far as where the connector's at in the computer, you can get to it two ways. First way, you can see it, it is dang it. Uh, it's under that plastic cover right there, which is right below the uh, right below the uh, radiator hose. Um, so you take that cover just pops off. Uh, and then you can take the computer out. There's a little clip on it. If you go through the fender well, I have my fender well out because I was doing some work on the glow plugs too, but um, you'll see the wires going into the computer. There's two sets of wires. You can see the first one, it's like that gray strip that goes vertical, and then right behind it there's another one. Um, so those are the wire, the wire clips that uh, come off the computer. Once you take those out, you just you know look for the C1 connector, which I think I said was the uh, blue connector, and then you look for wire 52, and you just put your ohm meter on 52, and to that wire up in the engine compartment, which is the blue one right there, and if you get uh, continuity on it, your wire's good. If you get no continuity, it's just open, then you've got... Uh, then you've got a bigger issue probably you know if there is a fusible link it's it's blown and you just have to either rerun re a wire and hook that up or just uh, figure out what's wrong with it and fix it but I already checked mine so I know I've got continuity on there so I know that my signal circuit that's the signal circuit that goes back to the computer that says hey I'm getting a voltage the relay's working fine if that wire is not getting voltage going back down on it then that's what will set that uh, P380 code off because uh, the computer's saying, hey, I'm not seeing any voltage on this relay wire. Um, so I do know that the, the um, intake heater circuit, which is the other relay in there, that relay does not always kick on because it works off a of temperature. So it works off the ambient temperature outside the vehicle. Uh, at least that's what I read. So if it's not cold enough, that relay won't even kick over, so you might not get voltage on on the other ones. The the glow plugs seem like they always they always um, have voltage go to them when you turn the key on. So if you're checking the other wiring and you're not getting voltage, 
you know what, that would be the other wiring in this connector. If you're, connect, if you're checking the other wiring in there and you're not getting voltage, then uh, it's not necessarily bad. It's just maybe you're doing it in a warm climate like where I'm at where I don't think it ever uses the, the intake heater circuit. So, um, so that's the test for that. And you can also run the test for, you know, for the, for the wire for the intake heater circuit. Um, that's on the sheet also. It's on this side. So you see intake air heater relay. It's got the fusible link. It goes down to uh, C2, which is the white connector, number 62, and C129. So you can test both of those. There should be continuity from those wires at the computer. All right, so <clears throat> this is what it, this is what that uh, controller looks like when it's out. That's the uh, one relay for the um, glow plugs, and the other relay is for the um, air intake heater. So one relay does all the glow plugs if your truck doesn't have the um, California emissions, which means it has like a bus bar that goes in between the glow plugs. Um, so pretty much it comes out, the, um, the glow plugs will hook up to that one intake heater will hook up to that one and then your <clears throat> your main power coming in from the battery that comes off that 175 amp fuse uh, goes to that one so I'll show you a way to test this thing and make sure it's working all right if you look at those wires you see the yellow Let's see if I can focus it there. There's a yellow and then there's a pink wire with a yellow stripe on it. That's the two wires that control the the um, glow plug relay. So you can see them coming in on the top. So they're the two wires right in there, the two ones on the top. So what I do is I put my two little test leads, I clip one onto each wire and I'll do that right now so that we can do a test on this. Okay, so the yellow wire is the positive wire and the pink wire with the yellow stripe is the ground wire. So all I did was I hooked up a test lead to the from the positive lead up to a battery to the positive and then uh, from the negative lead I'm going to hook that up to the negative side of this battery. And then I also hooked up 12 volts from the battery to the, to the input um, of these relays. So right now power is going into the relay. And when I ground this, I should get 12 volts coming out of the output of the relay. And I've got this cheap little tester I got at Harbor Freight which was the same place I got all these little test leads and they work pretty good so if I hear the solenoids click and I'm getting well because I got my test leads backwards I'm getting 12 volts pretty much that's what's in that battery coming out and I take the lead off put it on so I know that relay is working um, so I'll go ahead and test the the other relay since I've got this thing out for the uh, intake air heater. So we'll test the other relay. Uh, what I did was I just moved the two leads to the other two wires that are in that connector, um, which I believe are a pink and like a tan, tannish kind of color. Um, Polarity is not a huge issue because these relays will work either way, but let's see so I got it all hooked up the same now we'll be testing this relay which goes comes out and goes to um, to that to that lead so we put this uh, same same 12 volts so that tells me that that relay is good and the reason that relay is good is because I already replaced it because I knew that I had a bad relay in there 
what happens is when you do that test, you don't get a reading on there. That means that the relay is not working and it's not functioning right. So the way these relays come out, uh, they come in, they're kind of tucked in there real neatly. All you have to do is push, push in that direction, push them out, and then they slide off of like a little cartridge that they sit on, or like a little, uh, I don't know, it's like a little sled that slides in there. So once you push them, once you push them back out that direction, then they'll pop up out of here, and then you can take them out. Yeah, you can see the like the little base that they sit on. So once those are out, you can just replace the relays. You don't have to replace the whole controller because there's really not much to the whole controller. It's the relays that make a difference. Um, rather than paying like 150 for the whole controller, because you don't really need the whole controller.